Okay? All right. Um, the second reason, the second reason why, um, why some of our decisions cannot be um, freely willed, think about this. Uh, the main reason, you know, I, I like to explain this in terms of the unconscious because people are aware of this, you know, since, especially since Freud, people are, understand that we have this part of us that, that is unconscious, that's not in our control. So that's, that's a very easy way for people to relate to, to this idea, idea that we don't have a free will. But um, the fundamental reason, reason <laughs> is that, um, you know, there's a law, there's a law in, in nature, a law in physics, a law in the world called, called cause and effect. And the idea is that um, everything that happens has a cause. Okay? Um, everything that happens has a cause. Nothing can happen without a cause. This was known since Leucippus um, in about 500 BC. He said that nothing happens at random, but um, everything for a reason and by necessity. Okay, and that's so true. So, like, think about it. If everything has to have a cause, that means every one of our decisions must have a cause. And then, you know, it's, you know it doesn't stop there because what happens is, like, if everything has a cause, then the cause for every one of our decisions must have a cause. And the cause of that cause must have a cause. And then what happens is then you get this chain of cause and effect, you know, because every cause has a preceding cause, and that chain of cause and effect spans back to before we were born. Okay, so you have things that are happening before we were born, before the planet was creating, in this cause and effect manner, determining exactly what's happening at this very moment and what's going to happen in the future. So how this applies to, to the, the notion that some of our, um, you know, decisions may be freely made? Well, you know, that would have to explain, well, how could it be that some of our um, decisions are subject to this law of causality and others aren't? So that's, that's why, you know, that's why I say that the notion of varying degrees of free will is really absurd. It, it, you know, it's incoherent, really.